Koogie Koogs. I hate Mintunist. I hate Moral Atheist. Who's the fourth streamer? I hate Elu. Sweet. I hate all four of them. Well, actually, there's only there's only three today. Uh, the, but but you got two of them, Koogie Koogs and Intunists, like kind of the mainstays, and and then who's, uh, the, who's the third? Who's the third? Uh, a new streamer, Swim Josh. Haven't heard that name yet, but I can't got... say I hate him because judging from the name, he kind of sounds like a chill person. He might be. He just likes to swim. <laughs> he likes to swim, like actually. I mean, his name is Swim Josh. I could only imagine. Oh, no, he's Slim Josh. All right. Oh, you say even... Slim? Slim Josh. Hey, well, I mean, if he's swimming, he's probably Slim. Dude, Yo, he might. He might be. There he is, right there. There's. There's. Honestly, I hate everyone in Koogie's Mario Kart room. And you also aren't live, so I literally cannot see. Oh yeah, I gotta do that for you. For you, for you, Great Gonzalez, anything. Anything? E even though we're not in the same house in the thing. All right, there we go. Yo, I Yo, can see the game. let's go, Rick. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Subscribe. Yeah, you get two emotes now. Great you get Gonzalez. Great Gonzalez, good games, and then um, maybe it isn't three yet, but you also get Kupag because I have new emotes now, and I'm I'm working on getting getting Bro approved. Although I think it is approved, which is which is pretty fantastic. All right, honestly, I hate Kyle. Dude, that's mean. All right, cool. You do have it. All right, awesome. So it looks like Kupag is approved. That's that's lit. The problem is, is I wanted to do Game Champ too, because that's a pretty good emote. But like, but then I'd have two emotes that express excitement. I'd like to thank Koogie Koogs for uh, streaming. I'd like to thank uh, Swim Josh for uh, streaming. I'd like to thank uh, Nintunius <laughs> for uh, streaming. Uh, I'd like to like, thank Living One Crystalodian for streaming our Mario Kart tournament where it's Nintendo. And circuit. Yes. Uh, so so I, I appreciate that. And I'm pretty happy today because Kugi and Nintunis are on separate teams today. So Yo, means, let's go. That yeah, sets it up perfectly. It does set it up perfectly. I don't know what team Swim Josh is on, but I'm going to find out. It looks like he's on Nintunis. Team Blue. So, all right. So the, the, the story today is uh, red team is bikes and blue team is carts. That's so stupid. Why? It just is. I think that's a good idea. Honestly? It's Glenn's idea. I feel like when I say something on the inside, you're just like, what I would give to just punch gun right now. Never. I would never, even if we're in a different house. I would I've never hold that rage. Even if you're just with all the top players instead of instead of the boys. What if it's like 2050 and like 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 everything like we're both homeless and like we're just in the middle of nowhere and you're like this is all your phone guns that's it that sounds like something that would definitely happen honestly if that happens it's definitely 100 my fault like there was no other way it would happen there was no avoiding it right yeah if you me biddy james all like 50 years old hold in the middle of like the desert and just I don't know what the context would be, but it would have. Dude, I hope that. I mean, specific it, people. It's possible. You're cutting out a little bit, by the way, my friend. Okay, what about now? Oh wow, it's way better. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know who's about to race? Nintunis. Nintuner. Let's go. Don't say that. That sounds like a slur. <laughs> Does it? Like, it, might, it sounds a little bit like a slur, I guess. But uh, I, I mispronounced "cheek" once, and nothing I've ever said in my life sounded as much like a slur as it did. Uh, I want to ask how it came out, but I also don't want to ask how it came out. <laughs> I won't say I do it, it because it I actually it? sounds like awful, despite not being a word. All right. Well, shout out to Swim Josh. Uh, getting getting his stream going here, and I believe he's yo. Who's on the right? Uh, that's Nintunist. Uh, I, Nintunist I'll... got Bob by a bomb. I hate those clouds. The clouds? Yeah, you say that every time. I say that every time because when I see them, I'm like, dude, if I could 
punch any cloud in the world, it would be those two. Not Cloud Strife. Dude, if I saw Cloud Strife in real life, I'd probably say hi. Do you think he'd acknowledge you? I mean, he's got to be, like, a decent person. I mean, I don't know. He's got that chip on his shoulder because of, uh... I... Am I allowed to... Is it really spoilers for Final Fantasy VII in the year 2020? Am I allowed to say anything? Don't say it. All right, but I won't also, say anything. I've never played Final Fantasy VII. Oh, I can assume. All right, then I won't say anything then. It's Cloud is like kind of a nice person. He's He means well, put it that he way. Well. He's just like, mm, you know what? I'm going to name myself after the clouds in the sky. And maybe <laughs> because of that, uh, when I die, I will be a cloud. What if that's why he, his name is Cloud? He just wants to be a Cloud when he dies. Uh, that'd be amazing. Because, uh... Yo, actually, Kugi kind of... Yeah, I wanted to go on Kugi because not only is on Rainbow Road, and we're listening to Rainbow Road, but he's probably going to win because he always does. Who's a win? Uh, it's a thing you do when you win. Mm, I've never won. That's not true. Jesus, I, you saying that just made me think about all the times I've won. That's so weird, considering how much <laughs> how much has changed since like I was winning. Oh, I'm confused though. Are you are you not winning now? What am I winning? Uh, I don't know. At life, win at life. Eh, I'm doing pretty okay. Yeah, I'm doing okay. You know, you know who who is winning? Almost. Ooh. Well, actually, Kugi is winning because it's his teammate in front of him. So I actually don't know if if, car if bikes are better than carts in this game. It probably depends on who your base character is, but what I can tell you mm -hmm. is they were the new and improved like mechanic to be added, so they're probably better overall. Yeah, that's probably why not they're, they're not trying to like beat each other. But uh I will say I'm listening. Mm -hmm. I'm on the edge of, I'm I'm on the edge of my seat. Were you going to finish that? You, you said I will say no. Oh, well, Kugi's doing the shortcuts, and so is uh, uh, Vicinti, who I'm not familiar with, but... Think, oh, about to get hit. Oh, Kugi avoiding oh, it. Shake. And Kugi's it's like, so on my stream, me getting second? I don't think so, bud. Is that it? red flag, I hate it. The red flag? Yeah. What's wrong with the red flag? It's ugly. Huh. They should take flags out of this game. What if, what if in the Smash, uh, for teams, everyone just had a colored flag on their head? <laughs> yeah, no more colored auras, just colored flags. I think that's a mm. great idea. Teams work for Mario Kart. Yeah, I do like that Nintunis uses Mario and a cart. I definitely appreciate that. And I don't know what happened. Oh, that red shell must have been from his teammates. So if you shoot out a uh, item, whether it be a red shell or a blue shell, and it's just your teammates in front of you, it won't hit you. I actually originally thought that it would, but it, but it's not supposed to. Mm. But it can. Like, it'll think about it. But then, okay, uh, wait. Have you ever played Five Nights at Freddy's? Uh, I have not. Okay. D uh, okay. Okay, wait. Have you ever played Pikmin? Yes, of course. Pikmin 2, this music reminds me of it. Pikmin? Pikmin 2. <laughs> I don't know why that tickles me, but that's funny. Pikmin 2 is a very good game that could be way better. Pikmin 2? Pikmin uh, 2? What do you th what do you think uh, a Thickman game would be like? A th what? Just Thickman. Um, you only have purple Pikmin. That's Sorry. it. <laughs> but that might as well be Pikmin 2, because Purple Pikmin were literally, like, game-breaking. Really? Yes. Oh, boy, it's our favorite tune. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I got I to gotta, I change it, man. I, I got to just make my own playlist that literally doesn't have that in it. Yeah. You know what's a bop? What's a bop? Uh... I'll, I'll send you a song. Oh, yeah, send it over. Okay. I'm not sure why I can't get my Stream Deck app to run, but in the meanwhile, uh, I, this is going to be a, a hassle. Stop saying hassle. Why? Um, I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> when Chris is subscribed. 
Are you subscribed to me? What, to your YouTube channel? Yes. Yeah, obviously. Wow. Thanks. There we go. I got it. Yes. Now I can share the URLs of the streamers we're watching. That's a, that is a relief. So just in time for Natsu to finish his race, but also just in time for Kooky Kooks to take first place again. Wow. He does it. Dude, Dude did you I see that? That was kind of PM. for dinner. He threw the bomb at the thing. And, and then it could blow up someone behind him. Um, I don't know who's in the lead right now. Let me try and check that right now. Because... I wish there was an alternate reality where Kugi was bad at the game. There probably is. There's infinite. All right, let's you see. You think there's an alternate reality? I think I think there. Personally, yes. And oh my God, bikes are destroying carts. And also, uh, there's a there's a new rule today where instead of just taking total points, which as you see it is 652 to 306. Uh, the first red team lead that we've seen in a while. Um, now we're taking the average. So essentially... It's almost like bikes are broken. I feel like they might be. I think bikes might be broken. This um, is like literally if you had like a competition in Smash that was like... Um, uh, no, in Smash 4 where it's like you have uh, female characters versus male characters. Like, cause do you remember in Smash Four, like how weirdly imbalanced it was? Like all the all the females were top tier in Smash Four. Do you remember that? Well, I guess thinking back to it, yeah, it makes a lot of like, sense. Like like Zero Suit, Bayonetta, um, Rosalina, and then like it was just. I think the only reason it was so noticeable was because most of the. Um, like female characters in Smash are like humans. Yeah, that's true. Uh, like you don't see Toadette or like anyone that's a, like female canonically, but also like you know. Yeah, because because you in Smash you see Diddy Kong, and you see like uh, Fox, and you don't like like you don't interpret them as like men, but like you interpret the woman as woman because they're like. They're designed in, like, not to be blatant, but, like, designed to be, like, have, like, a little bit of a, a, a sex appeal. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, sadly, I do. Sadly, I know what you're describing. And, and it's not Thickman, too. And, no, I wish it was Thickman, too. <laughs> Same. Anyways, Cougars... <laughs> what if Nintendo is, like, <laughs> we're proud to announce a reboot of Pikmin. Thickman. <laughs> That'd be ingenious. You know how many people would buy that just because of the name? A, Every, lot. It would... <laughs> a lot of people would. Miyamoto is like chained up in the corner of the stage. Like he's like, <laughs> he's like, this is not my vision. This is oh. not the vision I had for Pikmin. And then like in the center stage is like uh, Doug Bowser. And he's like, you know, we just decided that Pikmin doesn't have the ring that Thickman does. Oh, the... And because of that, we will be rebooting Pikmin as Thickman. The worst part this is, time... is it doesn't, though. Huh? It doesn't have the same ring. That's the worst part about it. <laughs> Nintendo's watching this stream, they're like, oh. I guess this is the idea we've needed all along. <laughs> That's a good idea. Hmm. Damn, dude. And Tunis getting first? He's, dude, he, he's a wrecking machine these days. Kind of bopping. Bopping? Yeah. Yeah. Look at him, dude. He's feeling himself. Dude, honestly, don't compliment him. I ha I gotta. Dude, he looks so happy. He's like, wow. Mm. Yeah, he's starting to stream again. He's, he's he's having his own little renaissance of getting Look, going. And he <laughs> said it. He's like, well, I'm mostly doing it so you have more, uh, you know, streaming perspectives. And then it was like, hi, Elite Buckle. But also, yeah. So, yeah. And then he said he was doing that. But then it turns out that he's actually enjoying himself. And I said, you know what, man? That's great. I hope you enjoy mm. yourself. It's good. Um, it's good. Yeah, so uh, if anyone's wondering what this is, because I know there's always new people checking out the stream all the time, uh, this is a Mario Kart tournament. However, there's no spectator mode. So we got streamers, and we full screen their streams and try to tell you who they are so you could go check them out if you, if you look, think they're cool guys. Uh, for example, on the screen right now, is Swim Josh, who is, this is the first time streaming today. We have, like, Kooky Coogs, who's, like, a mainstay. He, he's your guy you're watching, because 
he's like pretty much winning everything. And then Intunist, uh, also a mainstay, and just recently starting streaming again. So make sure you support all these guys. Uh, I'll get better at making bot commands. I don't have them today because there's just three streamers, but that's what's going on. Uh, Isn't it weird that yes. Playboy's icon is like a bunny? I mean, it's iconic now. Everyone knows it. Uh, yeah, but I never got it. I was like, why is it a bunny? It's like a literal pet name. You know Playboy? I mean? No, uh, like a bunny. I guess, but it's stupid. I mean... I always was like, I w why was there a video game called Playboy the Video Game? There was? Yeah, what, it was what console? about that Playboy. It was on PS2 and Xbox. What, what was like? What was the game? How did you play it? I don't know. Weird. Weird. It is. I've never heard such a thing ever. Yo, honestly? Who's bopping? Tell them. Both of them are kind of bopping. Yeah, they are, both are kind of bopping. That's actually, it's really cool that the regular streamers here are very good. Because if you are watching, you do learn a lot about the game in terms of, like, how to be good. Because Kugi will land every shortcut. And Tunis, really not too far off himself. Just less consistent than Kugi. Because Kugi is, like, a total tryhard now. At Yo, Mario he got oh. It's like Splatoon. Alright, we already heard this one. You ever play Splatoon? Dude, I, I actually am a big fan. Honestly, I never played Splatoon. I think I'm you... kidding. I'm kidding. I bought it on lunch day. On lunch day? Did you like it? You know, did you wait? Did you watch my latest video? Yes, about the Wii. Uh, you remember the part about the Greninja Amiibo? Yes. That was the day Splatoon came out. Oh, that's really weird. Um... Yeah, it was like all launched at the same time. So I went and bought Greninja. I bought a bunch of other Amiibo. I bought a Splatoon. Dude. I went... Coop. I skipped the first half of school to do that, just so you know. Proud of you. Yep. Had, so had clearly, it. my priorities never changed after all these years. I mean, well, when you think about it right now, in, in retrospect, it's not a bad call. You're just doing something more toward your career versus, like, school. Anyways. Uh, Kugi, That's facts. Kugi Honestly, getting a little bit bopped right now. He's going to hit the shortcut, though. No, he's, he is. Dude, why is he so good? Dude! Look, he's about to pass Glenn. Glenn just got totally chumped. And then teammates in front of him. Score for the red team. Kugi's having a good time. Look at him laughing there. Um, and I gotta tell you, I do wonder if this will reflect that bikes are in fact better than carts. Um, because red team... Red team's really bopping. Really bopping. Look at the point totals. I know, I know. Jeez. Uh, wait, I gotta say, I'm having lamb for dinner. Lamb? Like, yeah. Like, like gyros? Yeah, like 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 lamb and like tzatziki sauce and like. Oh, dude, tzatziki sauce is actually really good. It's a bop. Rafiki. Yeah, blue. Okay, so if you're joining blue team, uh, you got to use a cart, or you're supposed to use a cart. So this tournament is open for anyone who wants to join right now to basically help. Uh, and the and the way that scoring is happening today is um, they're doing averages. So there's a total point score, and there's a number of entrants per team so the total number of points per team is going to be divided by the total number of entrants to get like the average amount of like who scored so, that's very uh, interesting chris thank <laughs> you for the information i will give you a like and retweet you are welcome gonzalez okay. you are welcome oh god yo we died he did kind of that's not no no that's that's swim josh swim josh kind of flopping yeah swim josh flopped a little bit but it's okay no, we still flopping. Natunas, though. Kind of bopping. Okay, that, that's who's I on have it. to ask you. Yes. How many people are watching? Uh, if there were 15. Let's go. Yeah, 15 I think... people watching the bop. Yeah, I think uh, once we get a few more streamers involved and people who really know Mario Kart... Uh, Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Uh, yeah, the, the stream will do a lot better for now. I almost feel like this is almost like a placeholder stream until, like, we really find the formula. Uh, because, like, for a tournament like this, I want to essentially have, like, team chats in, in the Discord that I could, like, jump in. So, like, if a team is doing really well or really bad, we could basically, like, hone in on that. I wish someone would import every Mario Kart stage to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. That sounds kind of cool. Like, yeah, imagine the one yeah. on the right with, like, the snowboards. Dude, I'm just whoa, big jumps there, Kugi. Yeah, wow, that was uh, something else. Kugi kind of <laughs> continuing his bop, 
and you will see that no one is close behind him. I will imagine the bomb bombs just blew up eventually. Dude, this is actually that actually like you mean like as you're driving with them? Yeah, that I, makes a lot of sense. I'm really surprised they don't. I actually think that'd be a better idea, personally. Um, it, uh, I mean, <laughs> dude, their icon is really stupid. What's that? The which icon? The bomb bomb. Oh yeah, it, like it, like uh, in the item box. Cookie's got two of those all ready to go. You gonna hug those dude. turns? You ever play Animal Crossing? Uh, I have. Dude, I sent you a song and you didn't even play it. Oh, my bad. I forgot. I'll do it now. Yo, the bomb blew... What the... You got blown up and the bomb doesn't even blow up? Like, that doesn't... That makes no sense. So... Yeah, I actually agree. That it should totally blow up on you. You shouldn't be able to store it. Well, chalk it up to the many shortcomings of Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Um, and then... Um, yeah, that's all you could really do. So, I'm that's sorry, you keep talking about this Mario Kart. I really don't know what it is, and it's starting to scare me. I don't be too scared. If, if you open up your eyes, you'll see it right in front of you. I literally do not have eyes, man. Really got to be more like... Oh, man, now, I'm so, now I feel bad. This is awkward. <laughs> when my next video opens, I just don't have... And you're like, oh. Your next video, you basically talk about how messed up it is that... I talked about you having eyes when you don't, and dude, I feel like this is the second time I've seen Kugi with just like waiting with a bomb, right as he finishes the, the race. I don't know how he Kugi, gets all these bombs Kugi's when he gets them. definitely bopping. There's no question about that. No, no Kugi question might be about a top that. five Mario Carter in the world. No, just in this Discord. Dude, he's definitely a top one in the Discord. That's super no. free. Honestly, Kugi, Rosalina is ugly. That's very rude. I, dude, I hated her since Galaxy. I literally never ever liked her. Why? She just annoys me. Huh. Well, uh, Warrior Stadium. Nintunist. Got to get into it. And I have seen quite a few bots in here. I don't know how many entrants we have today, but I actually. I, I have an idea of how many entrants are in because I just saw it. Um, it's at least 22. But I guess the queues are kind of split up. I don't like this song. Should we skip it? Oh, wait, no, yeah. you, you sent me one. So I'll, I'll play that one. This song is a buff. I remember this. I remember this like when it was new. Yeah, honestly, Mario Galaxy 2. Not as good as Mario yeah. Galaxy 1. That's... I hate Mario Galaxy 1. Why? It's a superior game. I don't. I don't, but man, ah, I find it so hard to replay. I, To be fair, I haven't tried to replay it, so you might have me there. There was a night where I'm like, I'm just going to replay the whole thing right now. I played like an hour, and I'm like, ah. Oh. Zodiac, no problem, man. You can still enter. Just to remind you that uh, essentially what is happening, like you could join any time and you're just contributing towards the team. What they're doing is, is they're taking the point totals from the team, like so red and blue team have their point totals, and then uh, averaging it out per racer. So like your races will still like matter, essentially. Okay, you got to admit, red team... No, red, red team has really been bopping. I'm going to reset the score to see how out of control it is. But Yeah, I don't. I can't imagine. Yeah, I mean, good for the red team, though, because the past couple weeks in Heroes vs. Villains, uh, red team being the villains, they've been getting they've been the ones getting bopped. So this is this is a big day to be uh, a fan of red. What's Mario Kart? A racer. A <laughs> racer. Dude, they put Mario Kart in Mario Kart. <laughs> I was trying to think of like another racer. What if they did Need for Speed Cross Mario Kart? I don't know. Did you hear I don't even know what that'd be like. about the Crash Nitro whatever DLC? Mm, I haven't heard, no. They added a checkpoint crate as a character. Why? Is that, is that hype? Fun, yes, it's really funny to me though. They also, uh, one of the characters that, that like in the remake, everyone thought they were really ugly. So you know what they did? What did they do? Oh god, this is They fixed them. Cool. They made them not ugly. They made them much closer to the original. But they made that a separate character. 
It is literally the same name except with fixed at the end. Oh god. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> I could appreciate it for sure. <laughs> Uh, I can also appreciate how much better bikes are than carts are, apparently. What's the bike? Uh, the red team is the bike. Anyway, no, what is a bike? It's the thing that Koopy's winning on. You see, he's, he's driving on it. What if Rosalina's Anyways. head like was detachable? Oh, dude, look, JRX in the, is, is in the in the fray here. I don't well. remember seeing him really in. Well, it's Ram Panzer Jane. Damn, man. Well, like Mama. How many scores does Kugi have? Dude, I think go Eddie up. Murphy changed his name. Go up, go up, place. go up, go up, go up, go up, oh, go up. What am I looking Yo, at? Yo, that's a bop. Oh my god, they have a thousand points. Yeah, I know. They're absolutely just like destroying, <laughs> destroying Maybe the carts. Mario Kart is not for carts. What if they just call the next one Mario Bike? And it was just bikes? Yeah. I could actually see that happening. Yeah, actually, now that I say it, that's like, considering how, like, complete Mario Kart 8 is, I could legitimately see that. I could very much see that happening, especially if the bikes are the superior vehicle in this game. Mm -hmm. They're like, you know what? Why don't we redo something? And they're like, Mario Bike. And then in Mario Bike, uh, there's Mario, there's Luigi, that's it. Dude, Antunas is cooking on Baby Park. And Baby Park Yo, is I noticed. Kinda he's kind of popping, but I think he's going to get hit with the blue shell. In fact, I'd be willing to put $10 in it. $10? Damn, there's only two laps shell. left. I'm too scared to take that bet. Because it could <laughs> happen at any moment. Although, oh, man. He's getting really close to the beating. Oh, my God. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yo, oh, God, I, knew I, didn't it, take I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I didn't take it. I didn't take it. God I was very close. Ring. I was very close. Anyways, Anymore. he's got a whole slew of his teammates in front of him, so it kind of works out. Although, I'm trying to tell... Okay, no, those are all people, because this is one of those races where if you're really far behind, it could look like you're in the fray of, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in the lead. But it doesn't matter. Teammates in front of him, much needed uh, one and two for Team Blue. And I believe, yeah, Kugi was in that race as well. Um, oh, wait, no, he's, he's in a different race on Baby Park. They both had Baby Parks. Babies everywhere. Don't say that. Babies. Dude, imagine how awful it would be to be like pregnant during this virus. To what? To be pregnant during this virus. Uh, I actually know a couple people who are having babies next week. Oh, that sucks. I don't know what you call a baby born in this time. Like, you know, there's like baby boomers. And there's like all those like fancy names. Virus you... kids. <laughs> That's awful. <laughs> what if you just call them uh, uh, Jacovid witnesses? That's really stupid. I think You're virus stupid. kids is funnier because it sounds like it could be the name of like a crappy Super Nintendo game. Like snowboard kids, but that's not crappy. That's actually very I good. I love snowboard kids. It's a very good game. Um, anyways, incredible. this is where we're at today. More team races per Tuesday, uh, our regular thing here. So if you are enjoying watching Mario Kart, imagine how much you'd enjoy playing it. You could still sign up tournament code up there in the top left. Uh, it's free to enter. All you have to do is enter that tournament code into your Switch into your Switch uh, when you go online, and then that's pretty much all you got to do. Um, and then you're in. Red team is yeah. playing as bikes. Blue team is playing as carts. That is for this week. Last week we did heroes versus uh, villains. Uh, the week before that, something different. I don't know. There's, there's new themes all the time. But uh, if you want to stay true to the theme, uh, make sure you choose red team for bike and, and uh, blue you team for cart. In Mario Galaxy 2, like near the end, like on the last level, you get off Yoshi. And like Yoshi waves goodbye as like you're flying off to fight Bowser. Yeah. That was amazing. I thought it was a nice touch too. I gotta tell you though, though Yoshi is part of the reason why I liked one better than two. If Dude, if, I like Yoshi in two a lot. I think he was cool. Like like I have no problem with Yoshi per se. But the Honestly, thing I wanna say I feel like Galaxy Two or no Odyssey, um, did not feel like as uh like 
I feel like there was so much that the the minor things didn't get elaborated on as like much as Galaxy Two did. If you know what I mean. I. Uh... I mean, I mean it, they're definitely different games. I could uh, agree with that. And by the way, I'm just noticing these guys are getting a lot of the same races despite not being in the same queue, and that's interesting to me. Dude, I'm just noticing whoever in first is about to get bopped. <laughs> no, so the reason I think Galaxy 1 is a uh, shout outs to uh, Intunist for coming into first again. Don't call him that. That's his name, dude. Is it? Yes. He's, he's having a great day, and Intunis is literally carrying the cart team. What on if his one day he woke up and his name was Intunis, like just straight up? I think that's what happened, isn't it? He's like, well, I guess I'm Intunis now. Like, oh, I'm Intunis. I am the Intunis. And I would like to thank you all for subscribing. <laughs> Yo, Kugi clutched that so hard. Dude, oh my god, Kugi but it was awesome. Always so clutches. Funny. I don't know. He just does it, dude. And the best part is, he's always so hype after he does it. It's like. Yes, yes, I did it. I made my projected seed. Yeah, right now, uh, oh, Elite putting in some work. I did see Elite in the chat. Put, uh, putting in some work for blue team. Because, uh, yeah, I actually think he outplaced Glenn there, too. Although, Glenn is his teammate, but still, Glenn has been the other almost carry for blue team. The the Glenn. other blue teammate of note. Glenn. Glentendo. That's that's how it says it in Smash when you select them. <laughs> Glendendo. Glendendo. I did not realize you're a, a pro player at Elite Buckle. That's that's kind of cool. What? Uh, we got we got a pro player in the chat and on the sticks, repping it for huh. carts. Mario carts. Okay, right. So Mario Galaxy One. The reason it's better is because it feels like you're like in space. Mario Galaxy Two is literally just like Mario levels. That's it. But Mario like, Kart. The Mario Galaxy One. You're like going from like little planet to little planet, and you're doing all this anti gravity stuff. And Mario Galaxy Two just didn't feel like that. I liked Mario Galaxy Two. They're both good. I just think one's the superior game, but that's I also I do not IMO. like one compared to two. I like two way more. But those purple coin stages were pretty good in Mario Galaxy 1 at the end. Mm. All right, so yeah, so I think that's actually how these tournaments work. It does look like everybody runs through essentially the same races, which is really good information to have because I don't think I noticed that the last time around. Because they're both, uh, they're all at Sunshine Airport or whatever this map is called. What what game is that based off of? Uh, it's probably just like a, an extension of Mario Sunshine, if I had to guess. You know what, what I mean? What is Mario Sunshine? <sighs> Stop it, dude! You always keep talking about these games and don't tell me what they are, and it's getting really annoying. Like, how am I supposed to know what Mario Kart is? Like, you never told me. I don't even you never know. told me what a bike is either. I told you it's the thing Kugi's winning on. But what is it? <laughs> like How what? Is it, like what is it really? It? Right? That's what you mean. Oh what? no, Kugi whiffing. Also, I saw Fast Kree is also entered. Kugi is whiffing, so he is flopping. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I always want to get out of the middle of the road whenever you see a blue shell. Black Mamba right. though, the fifth place. What? Getting past? What? Oh, never mind. Not yet. Repping it for the cards. I appreciate the cards, man. I'm a traditionalist. Well, they're on different stage. They're, they're not in the same race. What they, the? Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Is they're not in the same race, but they're on the same stage. And I think that's how it's going. But either way, Nintunist. That's so annoying. Collecting the points for cards. Uh, meanwhile, Grandpaster J also doing some work there, getting second place. Um, Kugi. Flopping. But he'll, he'll find his footing. Does look like he's going to take the little shortcut because he has the mushroom to do so. And I do think that helped him. Um, it looks like mostly his teammates ahead of him, except for KGP, who is, who is Kyle right in front of him. What's his name? Kyle. His name is Dude, Kyle. Dude, I did not like that game. Which one? The K one on the KGP? right. The star. The star on there. Oh, no! Googie got hit right from the finish line. Now red He's team He's so sad, gone. look at him. That's it, red team loses. D 
dude. It's over. I will I'm tell sorry. you, that is like low key clutch for like KGT and, and the other guy who is also on the card team that finished us ahead. Yo, subscribe to his YouTube, man. When I see it, I just feel like playing. <laughs> it's a good ad, is all I'm saying. But yeah, that's the tough part with uh, some of these races is depending on like when you're queuing up, you do get queued up with bots. Um, really not much you could do about it. Um, but yeah, yeah. Congrats on the crown, Elite. Looking looking pretty sharp there in, in Kugi's queue. Yo, I have an announcement to make. I'm ready. I just got a subscriber. Let's go. Maybe they saw the ad on my channel and said, I'm going to subscribe to this guy. Anyways, Kugi, or no, this isn't Tunis. Kugi's still waiting. Tunis having himself like a nice little day here. Mm. Nice little day in the in the racing. Nice little day in the neighborhood. All right, I'm gonna reload the scores too, so we could check those out after this. And what is final Bowser? Final Bowser battle. You ever just? Hmm? What? You ever just final Bowser boss? What's Bowser? I'm getting real tired of you, man. <laughs> getting real tired. <laughs> Dude, I'm just trying to imagine you in a house with Leon, uh, James, Nairo, and Tweet. Dude, everyone gets so annoyed really quickly. Yeah, that sounds like it would... I don't know. I feel like... You have... I can't imagine you in that house. It's so Dude, weird. honestly... I, I can imagine us being in that desert like I mentioned earlier, and it's like, like you're like, now we're not gonna eat. There's no food anywhere, and I'm like, what's food? <sighs> Dude, oh my god, I'm doing this. Yo, Coogie Coogs. Coogie Coogs is uh, Often. yeah, not not on that. Oh, he's on a different map. I think he might be one ahead. So Nintunus will probably be on that map next. I, I always forget the name of it. It's the one that named after like a snake or something. You know what's a, unfortunate? What's a, what's the unfortunate? This year, I was gonna get a shirt with my URL and my uh, a QR code for my channel, and I was gonna wear it around too many games. When is too many games usually June? June. Yeah, I hate to see it. Yeah. There's there's a zero percent chance. Zero percent, yeah, you're right. I was gonna see Scott the Wise. Come on, man. I wanted to see him again. You know, there, I, there's always next there was, year. There was something I wanted oh, to give no, him. He like, come on. Blew it. Dude, that was a pretty ballsy shortcut Kugi went for. I'm sure you're it works. A ballsy shortcut. I know, right? So <laughs> Kugi does have three red shells it's towards the end. Um I think uh, it's his teammate in front of him. That's probably why he's not letting him rip. Is my guess. Uh, yeah, that is exactly what happened. I think that may have been Shikai. Oh, my God. Dude, Kugi's having a little bit of a rough outing today. It he, doesn't matter. He's, he's in first. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Red team's kind of bopping. But uh, Luke Skywalker sneaking in third there. Um, that That's who I think passed with the bullet I build. feel like he still wants to be on top of the leaderboard. He does. Like the... He's not happy with, like, being passed and stuff, man. Like, didn't you look at the disappointment? He's grinding, dude. He's not trying to, like, lose. That's true. That's true. Come on. <laughs> can't, can't be trying to lose. <laughs> I'm going to send you a picture. Play to win the game. I'm gonna send you a picture. Okay. <laughs> Me at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. That's literally what that is. Uh, all right. Anyways, uh, this uh, tournament's still open. Anyone interested in? Uh, check it out if you're if you want. All you need is that tournament code on the top left. Otherwise, uh, we'll just be watching our streamers that we got here. And I'm mm. gonna try and find the updated results because I did just full on reset my console per the thing that I have to do. Good design. Yeah, great design here. So, yo, this okay. Song? They broke a thousand points. The cards. Now I'm gonna do the math right now. I'm gonna see. 
just exactly how these points because because it is very clear that bikes have more racers. So we'll do 16.94 divided by 16. So they're at about 105.8. Remember that number. What if you were stuck in an elevator that like there's no speakers, but you just started hearing this song? Dude, actually, this is really freaking close. 105.8 versus 101.1. So this is that's not close. What are you talking about? That's four points off. <laughs> Four points? Wait, are you looking at... Oh, the, the averages. The the so they're taking averages yeah. of, of the racers yeah, yeah, and the yeah, total yeah. points. So it's actually... I, I, it's quite the close battle. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I have to say. There are birds chirping outside. At this I hour? I just wanted you to know that. It's the, I hate it's those a, clouds. Is it not the morning? Huh? I thought it was the morning. I thought it was 8 o'clock in the morning. Dude, if it was 8 o'clock in the morning, like, just randomly, I would be pissed. Yeah, because you got to do the whole day now. Yeah, it's like, wow, damn. Damn, Daniel. Really? Damn, all that all that uh, progress from earlier wasted. Yep, I agree. But it looks like Kugi has something up his sleeve. And now he's in second place. But it looks like there's also a red shell that is no longer following him. So it's okay. Kugi has the chance to win the game. And all it comes down is to taking down that person in first place who I cannot read the name of I'll because they are it. too far away. Yeah, they are too far away. But, but a blue shell comes out it is a blue, ready it to is... save Kugi's potential first place. And there he goes, getting in first, but it's still close. Not far behind is that person I still cannot read the name of. And it looks like Kugi is getting close to winning the Glentendo circuit with a boomerang in the hand. The boomerang is a very good item to have in first place. And because of it, Kui has a chance of taking Glentendo life. But <laughs> <laughs> this Kui was really keeping this lead. He's, he's jumping up the ramp, taking the speed up, taking the speed up, uh, going up the ramp. Almost at the finish line, going for the, the, yeah, the mushroom, and he did the thing, and he's in first, and he wins. Kugi taking first place, taking the finish with the Lakitu, swinging the flag, jumping on the ref. He wins. He does win, and that's a, that's a good one because that's uh, red team taking a little bit of a lead now over blue, a, a better lead, uh, anyways, than it had. So, also ignore ignore the tag on the screen there. That is you ever watch Clarence? Yeah, I actually think it's a pretty good cartoon. I love that show. I think it's a good cartoon for sure. It's so good, dude. Honestly, it's so criminally underrated. I could agree with that. It's because the art style. What do you mean? Like, you, you think that's why it's underrated? Yes. Or like, I, I a million percent think that's why it's underrated. But um, I think it's a good show otherwise. But uh, yeah, so I, I here here's Swim Josh, by the way. Um, I, I, I just want to make sure because I kind of lost track of Swim Josh a little bit because I Yo, was... Slim Josh currently in fourth, but he's going down, down to sixth, down to seventh. Not looking good for Slim Josh, but the game has just begun. And now he's already back in fifth, sixth, and he can do it because in fifth place, that's not too far behind, especially when the race has just begun. In front of him is Star 45 and Mav, but unfortunately, King Boo is now in front of him. But luckily, King Boo is his teammate. But unfortunately, King Boo is also a CPU, meaning his points won't add up. So he has to beat King Boo. But currently, he is beating King Boo. But currently, Star 45 and Brother Quag is in front of him. If back back in third place, but on the second lap, it's looking really good. Like, it's, it's not great, but it's better than it could be. So, because of that, Slim Josh, oh no. Wait, why'd that hit him? Uh, Probably because whoever threw it was on red team. So, I, there's oh. a red team person in first, so that'll always hit, like, the, the next okay. highest up blue team person. But um, in the meantime, since, since uh, Slim Josh did sort of get beat up by the blue shell, this is um, the same race, actually. Uh, Tunis and Kugi in the same lobby. Kugi kind of bopping, but unfortunately that right there was a flop. But it won't matter. Oh, it actually does matter a little bit. Now he's in second again. But in first place, I it, it, Tunis is in first place. And because of that, there is a chance that we might see first and second place both on stream, both in the same race. 
But what it comes down to is the player's skill. With Kugi in first place now, it is third place now. It is looking not great for Kugi, but he's back in first because of the shortcut. This is looking really good, and he dodges the red shell. It just disappeared. I, I'm going to call that dodging. And Tunis, not far behind, but I guess two blues behind Kugi. So Kugi's got to be a little scared because if he drops one place, two place, both people are on blue team. So that's just like bad. But, oh, that's unfortunate. Nintune is taking it over Kugi. But it's still the last lap. Kugi has a chance of bringing it back. Kugi rides the ramp, rides the ramp. And now he is going to take the shortcut. I'm like 99% sure. And then he's going to be able to bring it back. But he's got to make this a quick comeback. Because otherwise, he just can't do it. It's on the last lap. But luckily, a blue shell is coming up. And it does go for blue team. But unfortunately, he gets hit. And now it's still looking pretty scary. Nintunist in first place with that bopping. And he's really just got to catch up to him. And Glintendo, I think that is, is also ahead of him. This is not looking good for Kugi. Kugi may not be able to win. Kugi may be able to lose his pride. Kugi may oh, have regrets. No. Kugi is now. He looks so disappointed. It is but over. Shout Kugi out to got cards. fourth. Oh my god. <laughs> well, the thing is, is he only he got passed by another bike. So at the very least, like I believe it's two cards and two bikes in that yeah, race. Yeah, but that's a hurt. That's a that's bad for Kugi's pride. I think he's gonna bounce back, man. I mean, I I feel confident in Kugi. Did it to do. All right, so I will go ahead and get us a nice little update on the score. I am waiting for food. Nice. What if Qbert like was real? Like, what if it was a real species? Um, I feel like they. Is there like a lot of them, or is there just like one on this planet? There's a lot. Okay. That'd know. be kind of hype. I guess it'd I'd be have normal. a Yeah. Hubert. But he's like really intelligent. Does he speak? Like, are you able to communicate? Yes. Oh, wow. But every other sentence has a swear word. <laughs> I guess we could see past that. That just sounds like a cultural difference. Yeah, he's just like, this is how we fucking speak. All right, so we'll keep Swim Josh on until... Uh, who's Swim Josh? It's the guy who who is on the stream right now. Listen, I'm really tired of you just telling me things like you, like I don't know them already. Treating me like a child. Like... How mad are you? 50. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'm at least 50 mad. Any more mad, and you'll be paying the price. <laughs> You'll be paying the price of four ninety nine to subscribe to Master Hand Gaming on Twitch. Only if you think we're cool. And oh, there, there's, there's FP Elite. We'll leave this on for now. I, I always like when I get the Captain Spectator mode. So Kugi's waiting to be in that race. Um, and meanwhile, Intunus finds himself on Baby Park once again. And it seems like he's got this race down, which is really hard to have it down because there's usually just stuff everywhere. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright, so two laps left. And looks like Glenn's still in that race, and that is currently three out of the top four with carts. Bro, yeah, have you ever played uh Mario Sunshine? I have. Okay. Damn, that that hurts. That's gonna hurt cart team. And Tunis just sorta of got worked a little bit, but still has a lap left. And I can't make out what the top four is on that map, but oh whoa, Swim Josh is doing things. I gotta, I gotta get him. Looks like he finished first place. Let's go. He's hype. I gotta go eat dinner. All right, no problem. No problem. I'll, I'll, I'll be here. I'll be here. Yeah, shout out to Swim Josh. Um, taking a first place. Whoops. There he is. That may have been the first one for him today, so that's good. It's good to see. Uh, good, good for morale. Good for um, you know, some variability, and that's definitely gonna bring it in for cart users because I believe he was a cart man. Okay.
Okay, so in the meantime, it does look like we have Kugi about to go. So I'm going to hone in on Kugi Kug's race. And we are getting towards the tail end here. Just a reminder, this is only 24 races. So, um, yeah, the race is really starting to matter now. And I do believe the points are still very close. I'm going to do another quick... Uh, calculation here to, to see just how close all right so I can okay yeah different races here um Yeah, okay, so so Kugi and Intunus in two separate races. For a second, I thought they were the same, but they're definitely not. And Intunus kind of continuing to do his thing here. Does have Dark right up in front of him, who is repping the, the bikes. Going to want to pass him. Uh, behind Intunus is, looks like it's the boys. I see uh, someone right behind him, then I see a Link and a Lakita. So... Pretty good day for the carts on the, in the meantime. Kugi, though, um, does appear to be second behind another bike user. So we have two races where the story is a little bit different. Um, is that Vicente in front of him? No sweat. Um, still another lap to go for each of these guys. And how about we take a look at Swim Josh and see where he's heading. And Swim Josh looks like he's... Starting to hit momentum because um, currently in fourth. And he is, in fact, using the carts. I did have that right. So there we go. Making some fast pro Ooh, yeah. Being careful that uh, Bounce and Fire and Cree, who did very well this past weekend um, in the singles tournament, I think he took second or third. It looks like he's off in first place here. Might be a little bit difficult to catch. Although Liam, looking like he was getting ready to pass, and then hitting the back of uh, that bike there, which must have had an item on it of maybe months. And here comes the blue shell. Did not actually get... Uh, Swim Josh, because he was in ghost form, and now he has what I think is a pretty good weapon in the Piranha Plant, because it gives you some speed bursts and also hits your opponents, but going to be a little bit of a rough finish for 6th place. No problem. Uh, still pretty good performance outside of that. Uh, in the meanwhile, so we're still out here. Got another hour left or so for Mario Kart. Um, if you're interested, you could still join. All the point totals are being averaged by racers, so that is how they're actually calculating it. So right now I'm going to check in on the scores and let's see what they look like. Tournaments. Here is the Team Doe circuit. And I will do the math here on the calculator. So it looks like 226 or uh, yeah, 2266. We're going to divide that by 17 is going to give Red Team a Average of 133.29 uh, points per racer. So remember that, 133. And then we're going to have 1447 divided by uh, 11 at 131. All right, so it does look like the carts are in the lead at the meantime. So got bikes versus carts. Carts, the traditionalists, making it happen. Uh, in the meanwhile, we do have some races going on. Got a tunist back at it again. Um, still in a separate lobby from from Kugi Kugs, and these are two people that are basically uh, kind of carrying their respective teams. Kugi doing it for the bikes, and then Tunis doing it for the carts. And Tunis having definitely a, kind of a stellar day today. Seeing him take several races. He might be sitting in seventh right now, but uh, has been doing some work all in all today.
Kugi is now starting to hit a stride well ahead here. Still a whole nother lap remaining. And it looks like just another teammate behind him. So in good shape. Uh, on, yep, the Animal Crossing race. Yeah, Kugi and those slowing him down. It looks like there's no real threat of any cart users doing anything to him. So he's going to keep trudging ahead. Meanwhile, Nintuna's fighting it out. Several several uh, opponents ahead of him. Let's see Rabbit. Um, someone that currently with star power. And way out ahead there is Jason. Within sight, though, and Nintuna's going to have to do some quick work. He's going to get a little bit of a favor from the blue shell. Going to hit ahead of Jason, so he's not going to have to worry about getting hit by it, but doesn't look like it did any difference before the end of the race. Meanwhile, Kugi and Zodiac are right on top there with the bikes. Kugi with a big 226 points. Zodiac did join late. I believe he was already sitting at 90. Um, and, yeah, that's uh, every, everyone has been racing. Yeah, there's not so much we could do about totally balancing the teams, just to, to how the tournament mode works. But the averages should help, um, you know, as far as what the average point total is per team. And just before we had an average, uh, before those races finished, of 131 for the blue team. So 131 for carts versus 105 for... Oh, wait, no. I'm sorry. Forget that. It's still very close. So the average score for uh, carts, I believe, was 133. And then... Jeez. All right. I'm mixing them up. No. Okay. Yeah. The average score for carts was 131. That was that. That's what the carts are current averaging at. Meanwhile, the bikes are averaging 133, and that's not accounting that last race. So so far, things pretty even, despite the difference in racers, which I believe is 17 to 11 racers, 17 being um, the bike racers. But here we go, a couple new races about to start. And this is still a format we're um, still figuring out. So, you know, bear with us on it. But technically, the, uh, with the up, or I'm sorry, yeah, with the average points, technically the carts are really not far behind, only by two points. So, everyone kind of starting to put in some work. Tuna's struggling just a little bit here. Does have the uh, Crazy 8's item, so it has a whole array of things to just kind of spam at the moment. But losing him quick, he's going to let that bomb loose. Meanwhile, here he is now with three mushrooms, covering fast ground, going from 10th place to 6th. See how much more ground he can cover. Does get another place. Meanwhile, Kugi also in a 5th in a place position. A Rainbow Road, which is... um. The Rainbow Road where I feel like it's easier to catch up than the other one. So he's going to do his thing there. Meanwhile, Nintunist is slowly but surely creeping up on all of those bikes right ahead of him. And just in time and to nail a third place down. So that's a good job by that. That was definitely a hustle because he was sitting at 10th place. Um, all right, so it looks like Swim Josh also waiting. So how about um, we just take a closer look at Kugikooks who's sitting in 
in eighth place, seventh place, eighth place, and a bit of a rough finish. That one's gonna hurt. That may have honestly just did it for the carts, probably pulling ahead now. Maybe just a little bit. Yeah, big race. Big, big race for the cards, actually. Never mind. So, Kugi's score not going to hurt them that bad. That's places one through four just taken by the cards. So, it's, it's point averages. So, total points are going to be off for sure. Um, those, like, the red team's going to have that no matter what, just by volume. But uh, you want to divide up your team by the total number of... Uh, Basically, the total number of racers per team, and then that average is the real team score. And that's the way we're doing it this week to basically accommodate for the big difference in um, number of racers. Because it does get unbalanced in terms of that. But Swim Josh is off and running on a. What is it? Sky Cruise or whatever this map is called. Yeah, and that's the tough part when you're a big boy like uh, Bowser is you just weigh so much that acceleration just not as great and that's where being a bike user is good uh, if you're using a big heavy and you're on a bike you can at least accelerate but if you're a big heavy guy and you got a cart it's gonna take you a little while to get up and run again but he does get up and run again now in fifth place and moving very close to taking that fourth hex god shout out thanks for the follow man um, Meanwhile, let me see if Nintunus and Kugi, it does look like they've started. So I'm going to hop to them. Yeah, here it goes. So Nintunus making some strides in the top four. Kugi continuing kind of the pattern of what I might call a rough day. Uh, at least a rough day for him because usually he's well out in front. And he does have Nemesis Glenn right in front of him. Who is probably going to let that red shell rip? Question mark. Uh, he does have one waiting. He might be using it as a defense item. And there it goes. It looks like he threw it. I don't know what happened to it though. But Zodiac also out in front for carts. Uh, so it's good for Kugi. Not going to have to sweat too hard getting in front of him. And it looks like first place is... I can't tell if it's blue team or red team. All right, Nintunus definitely in form here. Red, uh, bike user right in front of him, and this is the last lap. He is getting pretty close. He does have the tools to do it. Does land that red shell, or does not land that red shell. Uh, Brian must have had something to defend himself just in time, and it looks like it was a banana. Or at least he has a banana right now anyways. We'll see. Okay, yeah, so... That blue shell being thrown out by a member of the red team because it does hit Nintunus, who still manages to get second despite that, with a pretty good lead. So that's looking a little bit more of an even spread between the two, uh, continuing what is kind of an even fight right now between the bikes and the carts. Meanwhile, does look like bikes a little bit dominant in uh, Swim Josh's race there, uh, taking places one and two and four from the looks out uh, of it. So how about we get another uh, point score update? Working on that right now. Yo, JRX, follow. Let's go. Thanks, man. Hope you're enjoying the tournament. I did see you were playing. So let's go ahead and take a look at Team Dose circuit results, and just a reminder for everyone, once again, uh, these are the average points, not the total points. So it might look like red teams in a massive lead because they are technically, but we use the averages. So I'll do the math right now. Uh, 2754 divided by 17 is going to be an average score of 162 for the bikes. Meanwhile, the carts are averaging a score of 1681 divided by 12 of 140, so the bikes are still pulling away just slightly here by 22 points. I mean, I say slight, but 
it's a decent lead, but the reality is, is you know, all it takes is one really good race for uh, the carts, which we've been seeing. Like right now, Natunist is still cruising in first, really doing putting in work here for carts. Uh, we do have a pro Mario Kart player in Elite Buckle who is also on the cart team. So all it really takes is one of these races of, of a cart sweep of like one, two, three, and then they're right back into it. Junior man, it, it's cool. I I wish these streams could be a little bit more immersive. Just uh, it's just it's so limited by who's streaming. So I do the best I can with just trying to get any perspective. But uh, you know, the more people end up streaming their runs, uh, the better picture I'll be able to make. But this has been working so far, and honestly, it is kind of fun. Um, I'd be playing if I wasn't streaming, and and I, it, I'm, it's actually built into this where I can play and stream. But then I really then it's like you're literally just watching me, and I feel like that's lame. I'd rather just try and get a story of everyone but here we go kugi a little bit struggle bus still doesn't matter though his team's putting in work because it looks like a bunch of bikes ahead of him aside from glenn who's right in front of him in fourth place meanwhile if you look over to the left you see nintunist putting in the work he's been putting in all day uh really feeling it man uh nintunist finding all new life was not streaming uh very much before these tournaments started and kind of heard that i needed some streamers and Stepped up to do it, Fine, having a little bit more fun now, just streaming, and who could blame him? First place again, putting in that work, let's see how, okay, so that probably won't help out the average too much for carts, but it is encouraging that the first six places go to carts, and you know, just places two and three, or I'm sorry, uh, four of the six places go to carts, and then the other two, just two and three are, oh, good save there by Kugi. And how about we check out what's going on with Swim Josh? Because he is currently racing. Uh, yep. Sitting in sixth place. Very close to the end of his race. Is going to get that bit of a shortcut. Not going to do too much. But let's see what the impact is as far as the overall results go. So a bit of a mixed bag. FP Elite is putting in that good work. Meanwhile, Hex God sitting at third place. So there is hope for Blue Team. There's very much hope for Blue Team. Um... Really not that far off. I'm going to see how that impacted the averages. But meanwhile, just seeing Kugi and Glenn in the same race is, is something. Because I would say these are two of like the front runners for these circuits. All right, let's see what, what, the, what the end result is. All right, yeah, more mixed, but you know a little bit more red than blue here as far as the, the first six places go. So... I'll check out what kind of thing that does. It does look like Nintunist is about to get going, though, so I'm going to put you on Nintunist, and I'm going to reset the uh, game so I could see the scores. Because last we checked, bikes were in a lead of an average of 162 points, whereas carts had an average of 140. There was a couple races that just ended, so that number is definitely different now. So I'm going to check in on that. But while we do that, check out Nintunist. Um, gonna continue to do his thing. He's got a few red, few uh, red team members in front of him. Doesn't have to do anything too drastic yet because this is the race did just start and he is chilling in third. Although I did notice Nintunist does have a habit of using his items quickly, which is usually not what I would think the optimal strategy is. Uh, a lot of times, you use items for defense or whatnot. Um, but he does seem to sometimes just let it roll, but I'm not going to doubt him because he's, he's been putting in work all day, so, um, he's obviously doing something very right. And I am going to pan over here because Kugi is also doing his thing, just getting started here. Does have a teammate in front of him, uh, so taking places one and two is Kugi and Adam doing it for the bikes. And now I'm going to get an update on the scores for you guys because um, it does look a little bit different now. So currently the average score for the bikes who have 13 races, or I'm sorry, 17 races, excuse me, is about 170 points and a half for, for the bikes. Meanwhile, the cart's average score is going to be a total of 13 users, or I'm sorry, players at 137. So... 
as I sort of uh, estimated, Bike's still in a bit of a lead, but they haven't really been pulling away. Uh, if anything, it's still about the same split as it was before, which is roughly about 20 points. So that could definitely change. Uh, just like a couple big races for, for the carts, <laughs> which has been happening, and there's a couple new racers, so it might. Hello, Gonzalez. Hey, uh, that's gonna hurt Antunas just a little bit because he is currently trying to overcome a bike that is very uh, far ahead and has a bike right behind him from the looks of it. I ate too much food and I'm in pain. Was it good though? I am now eating a chocolate bar. Let's go chocolate bar. There we go, that's exactly- What if you woke up tomorrow? <laughs> And suddenly, there's just no such thing as chocolate. Uh, but was I aware that there was chocolate before there was no such thing as chocolate? Yes. You are aware. I'd say, bro, where's my chocolate at? Kugi finally finds some momentum. And guess what? Guess what, Gans? What? The average score for, for the uh, bikes, 170. Average score for the carts, 137. That's that's so we like gotta, we gotta ban bikes. So the thing is, is like it was kind of close-ish, and it's been kind of close-ish, um, and I'm still not convinced that carts can't come back within like a race. Because even that race, it was only like first place, and then it was like two, three, and four were carts. So I don't know. We'll see. I don't. I don't know if bikes are truly ban worthy quite yet. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Let's think about it. Okay. Uh, but the Tunist race 22, so there are only 24 races, so we are getting towards the end. And I believe Kugi's in a very similar situation, probably about the same amount of races left. And I think Swim Josh is like a few races even above these guys, so he might almost be done. I'm going to check in on that. He has at least one race left. That's Swim Josh. And he is in a race with Kugi. It looks like this is Kugi's 23rd race. And forget everything I said about Swim Josh because he's only on his 21st race. So going back to Sunshine Airport. Um, as you know, we check in on that. We'll go right back in Tunis because he is the hard carry for the carts at the moment. Using Gonza's favorite cloud. Um, I hate them. Parachutes. I'm eating chocolate. What kind? Hershey's chocolate with almonds. I was literally just going to say Hershey's, but I wasn't going to guess the almonds. Oh, no. Nintunis using that blue yes! box a little too soon. Yes. Getting passed by Maverick Hunter. Let's go, Maverick Hunter. It's still got a whole other lap to go, so not the worst thing. Um... And Neo, Neo Bowser City, though, isn't like um, one of those races where there's a whole lot going on in terms of shortcuts, so it's pretty it's pretty straightforward. Uh, as soon as already takes the lead back. Subscribe to his YouTube man. Yeah, subscribe to his YouTube man. Nintunis does have a YouTube man as well. Huh? Nintunis has a YouTube man as well. That's true, but he doesn't use it as much. That's true, not anymore. He's making some, like, Rage Smash content, so if you're into that kind of thing, definitely check it out. Or you could just subscribe to Gonzas, or you could do both, or you could subscribe to Master and Gaming YouTube, which is which is that's the, real the best move. option. That's that's obviously the best option, because then you get to learn about all these amazing YouTubers. Yeah, tough day for Cougars so far. Uh, I mean, third place is is a good place at the moment, but it's not that Coogie place that we see usually happen, where it's just like first all the time. Tunis narrowly getting fourth place. Let's see how the carts fared in this race. And it looked like it was so-so. Um, that's going to be more lead going to red team. Although some of those were bots. So take it with a grain of salt. We are taking average based off of the actual users, not just the <coughs> CP users. Because CP users are part of the reason why the swords get so out of control in the first place. I agree. Cougars in third. I'm cold. 
Do you got a sweatshirt, dog? What? What? Wow, look at that. Wheeler, Glintendo, doing it for carts. Liam, also doing it for carts. I'm going to do the average scores again. Googies and Bert. If you do not freeze your chocolate before eating it, you are very stupid. Really? Yes. Uh, Gons, JRX wants to know what your opinion of Baby Rosalina existing is. Baby Rosalina is my opportunity to make sure Rosalina never exists. Oh, are you gonna? Oh, wait, I'm scared to ask. But but why? I will punt her. So you're trying to you're trying to kill Baby Rosalina. Trying to what? You're try so you, your plan is to kill Baby Rosalina so Big Rosalina doesn't exist. Yes. Huh. I think you'd get in trouble for that. And also, if you punt a, a space baby into space, I think she just goes back to space. Doesn't really like. <laughs> doesn't really like die, you know. She just continues to float. Dude, carts are on, on the low starting to surge a little bit because if Intunis and Grandpaster J, if they take places one and two, this is a small lobby. That might be enough to really kind of boost the average scores to kind of close up that 20 point gap that the that the bikes have had. Do you think when they designed Rosalina, there was a, their intention was to make her ugly? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think she's that ugly, man. I think she's just like a, a space woman, you know? It's like calling an Amazon ugly. It's just like a really big woman. No, she's ugly because she's ugly. Ooh, look at Antunis trying to bully. Trying to bully Munts with his bananas. It worked. It kind of did. I don't even know if Munts is aware, but he does have the piranha plant, which is good item, IMO. Yo, what if that was a character in Smash? Haha. <laughs> yeah, could you imagine? They'd never do that. All right. So, currently two bikes right in front of the tunists. We'll see if he can run Maverick Hunter off the road. I'm going to go back in time and tell Done. Him, tell us, like, I'm going to wow. find a way to bend reality so the character that gets in instead of Piranha Plant is Rayman. I mean, Rayman is technically in. I need you to stop talking, man. You stop. You stop it. You stop it. Stop it. I'm, I'm drinking water. Good for you, man. I'm proud of you. Oh. Are you really proud? Are you really? I am. I also like really proud of. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you know, I'm I'm proud of Swim Josh. That's what I'm proud of. Sitting there in fifth place and stuff. There we go. I see some cart users ahead of Kugi. Kugi is really kind of far behind right now, but making some fast progress. I wouldn't actually be surprised to see him. Uh, actually, I would be surprised because <laughs> uh, actually he has nothing to sweat. Those are all bikes ahead of him. So bikes further just continuing their domination. What's this song? It's Excite Bike, but Mario Kart. Oh, I like it now. What's it like, Mike? Damn, Kugi's shaking SMH and... Yeah, Kugi's kind of like, mm, maybe I should quit. Whoa, jeez, though. I think that that might do it for the bikes. That probably is the nail in the coffin, because that what was... Do you mean? So, they're already, I think, one more race left, and they were already in, like, a 20-point lead, and they just swept that race for, like, places one through six. So, I think <laughs> that average point-wise, they probably just left the carts in the dust just <laughs> right there. Wait, they were only 20 points ahead? They were, so the total points, uh, they're very far ahead, but this is average points now, so it's based off of how many racers you have. So your total points divided by your total racers, and then that's like what the real scores are. So that that's what I've been doing. Wait. You wait. So that number at the top doesn't matter? It does matter, because it gets divided by the total racers. And I'll wait till Natunas is done racing to, to show everyone that's what so I mean. That's so weird. But it does appear that Coogie Coogs is done for the day. Um, I thought that was the 23rd race. Anyway, well, I don't know. The Wii. <coughs> I'm sorry. Excuse me? Mm-hmm. 
If I could beat up Chris, I would. I hate those clouds. Good luck, bro. Wow. Oh. All right, Nintunist, dude, putting in so much work today. Nintunist, honestly, kind of bopping. Putting in that good work. All right, so I'm gonna get the points ready, and then I'll explain to you how this works. <laughs> yeah, so Elite putting in work for Blue Team, the Tunis putting in work for Blue Team. Uh, oh. Glenn, kind of. Those are a lot of Gs. <laughs> yeah, Red Team definitely in the lead. I'll, I'll, show, I'll show you guys after this. Although I have... I might as well just get an updated one. So Nantinas does get that first place, and geez, oh man, the blue team need it. Yeah, so I think red team probably has this wrapped up, possibly. Um, there is still technically a half hour left, but based off of the active users and the fact that these are averages, uh, you know, you know. Let's check out the scores here. Here it is, Team Dose Circuit. New standings, so the red team's gonna be well at above in points anyways, but look at all of those red, those red teammates from places two to seven, including the likes of Munts, Kugi, Adam, Vicinti, or yeah, Vistini, whatever it is, JRX. Wow, JRX having himself a good little day. Let's go. Uh, Cree, who did, uh, I think he won? The singles last week and Glenn behind that, but anyways, let's let's do the point totals. So, what we're doing here is three three seven zero divided by seventeen. So the average score for the bikes is one ninety eight. Um, so let's check out the average score for the carts, which is two zero nine nine divided by thirteen. <laughs> yeah, okay, they, they definitely pulled ahead. It's not a total shellacking like we've seen in the past, but it's uh, it's it's significant. So right now it looks like the bikes are at 161, or I'm sorry, yeah, the bikes are at 198, and the carts are at 161, so that lead has kind of grown a bit. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't beat yourself up, Cunio. Um, I think your blue team, if I remember, because I, I, you're kind of the, the cart team sort of imploded somewhere in the middle because this is actually very even up until like the past two or three races. So you're, you're not alone. But anyways, shout out to Baby Mario in eighth place. Oh, never shout mind. Oh, well, you're, you're good. You're, you're definitely a good Cunio because your team is kind of kind of dookie in on the carts right now. And swim, Josh. Do be on his final race. Damn. Yeah, it does look like Kugi is done? Question mark. Doesn't look like Kugi's a man. Yeah, we're going to watch Josh. He has actually had a couple pretty good placings this race, and the carts really do need the help, so... Mm -hmm. let's see, let's see How much of this race is left? Not much, and this is the final race for him. Oh. Uh, hey, that's not Intunist. What about for everyone else? For everyone else, I think Kugi might be done. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not confirmed on that yet, but he is sitting in the results, so I feel like he might be. Uh, Nintunist might have another race left. No, he's looking at results too, so this might be it. We might be at the end of our rope, uh, even though we already kind of have the results in already. We'll, we'll watch uh, Josh for his last race here, because it is quite literally his last race. And then I will bid you all a, a good morrow after that. But mm -hmm. until then, we're going to wait it out and see how the cards do. 
I do see a lot of bikes ahead, though. And Josh do be kind of moving. Is he? Yeah, I think he is. I do think he is. We got him go. Second place, uh, what's he behind? Okay, so he's behind another cart, so this is actually a good race for the carts, and it looks like there's another cart right behind him. With a star, so hopefully they don't bump into him, because that would be a shame, but that, oh no, oh no! Okay, it didn't work, it must have been from the other team. And just like that, such as Mario Kart, one moment you're in second, and then the next you're in seventh, but good stuff there, finishing it out. <laughs> Either way, he's disappointed. Look at him, sad boys. All right, so I can't see how 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 they be doing, but anyway, it's it's okay, Josh. We still like you. So I think that's gonna do it. Um, I believe that was his last race. I'm pretty sure. And then Tunists. Uh, let me just take one last check that none of these guys are doing anything. Okay, and then Tunis is done, and so is. Kooky? Or is he? It looks like he's doing something. I don't like this remix as much as the original. Agreed. Should I skip it? Yes. See ya. You like Sherbert Land though? Yeah, it's good. All right, yeah, Sherbert Land's cool. Okay, so before I leave you guys, um, I'm just gonna get one last point count because I do believe everybody that we have uh, the pleasure of watching is done. Unless Kugi has one more, which is possible. I don't think he does. Yeah, let me look. It looks like he's doing something. No, never mind. He's just looking at the scores, just like we're about to do. So, yeah, that's it. Let me get this, the point totals, tell you the averages, and that's it. But I'm pretty confident, very confident, that Bikes pretty much already won by a good 30, 20 to 30 points. All right, let's take a look. Let us do the math. All right, so Bikes ended up with a grand total of 35.02. Going to divide that by 17 racers. Whoops, fat finger. Let's see, 35.02 divided by 17 racers. So they got an average of 206 points. So that's 206 for Bikes. And then on the other end of things, 2242 divided by 13, 172, not that bad. I mean, the thing is, is it was really close, really even on. Actually, guys, right before we went to go eat, it was like only a two-point disparity in the average points. Uh, something happened, though, and it ended up being a 34-point lead for the bike. So this is the first week that the that the red team has won because the past couple weeks have been heroes versus villains. Well, so, so the last couple weeks were Heroes vs. Villains. This week uh, was Bikes vs. Carts. This so happened the Bikes are red. And I don't know, maybe the Bikes are broken. Maybe they're not. Who knows? Uh, I don't. That's for sure. I do not know. But what I do know is our time is up. Our time is up yep. with Mario Kart. It's been a lot of fun. Appreciate you guys who are tuning in. I definitely appreciate you guys who are streaming. It's been pretty great. Appreciate you guys in the chat who are jumping in and actually, like, you know, interacting with the stream that things happening. You don't uh, appreciate me commentating. Gons, I really appreciate you commentating. I was saving the best for last. Thanks. You got it, man. And uh, if you haven't already, subscribe to his YouTube, man, uh, at Gons Channel. Subscribe to Masterhand Gaming YouTube, uh, where you get all kinds of good stuff, including um, we got Smash tournaments, we got Mario Kart tournaments. We got more Mario Kart tournaments. We got all the things. So keep it here. We'll see you on Thursday for Smash. I'll put that graphic one last time. This is open to everybody, no longer region locked. So if you're looking for good Smash and you're looking to maybe catch some stream time or just hang out for the night, we got you. That's every single Thursday starting at 7.30 and going for the rest of the night. But in the meanwhile, guys, definitely appreciate you. Um, have a nice night. <laughs> Okay.